looking at some questions on chemical bonding. Here, the question says, how many electrons are shared in ammonia molecule? How many electrons are shared in ammonia molecule? Let's take a look at that. Ammonia, as we know, contains one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. This is ammonia molecule. We want to know the number of electrons that are being shared in this molecule of ammonia. Now, we are going to do this. Nitrogen is the central atom in ammonia. And the atomic number of nitrogen is seven. So this is our nitrogen. Remember, atomic number of nitrogen is seven, while atomic number of hydrogen is one. And there are three hydrogen atoms there. So nitrogen, being number seven, has seven electrons. This is our nitrogen, which is the central atom there. The seven electrons of nitrogen are, dis are distributed like this. The first shell collects two. Out of the seven, two will be given to the first shell, remaining five. The remaining five will be distributed here at the second shell. So we have one, two, three, four. In this nitrogen, okay, it should be like this. This is nitrogen molecule. This is our N with seven electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because the atomic number of nitrogen is seven. Now, hydrogen has atomic number of one, and there are three atoms of hydrogen present in ammonia molecule. So we are going to have hydrogen three places. Each hydrogen is like this. Each of them is like this, and we have three. So these are our hydrogen atoms, H, H, H. Now, the essence of chemical bonding is for atoms to attain what we call octate states. This nitrogen atom wishes or would like to have eight electrons at this valence shell, while hydrogen would like to have two electrons here because hydrogen has only the first shell. And you know, the first shell carries only two electrons. So hydrogen would like to have two electrons here, while nitrogen would like to have a total of eight. So as you can see, what hydrogen has at the valence shell is only five. One, two, three, four, five out of eight. That means nitrogen needs three more electrons, one here, one here, and one here, for it to attain octet states. Now, Hydrogen will come here. Hydrogen will bring this electron. The black electron belongs to hydrogen. Hydrogen brings this black electron here to make contact with nitrogen. As soon as it comes here, hydrogen itself will share the electron of nitrogen. Now you can see that at this point, these two electrons here are being shared between hydrogen and nitrogen. And these two electrons were contributed by each of them. Hydrogen owns one, nitrogen owns one. Why are they sharing it? Each of them wish to have eight electrons touching the outermost shell. Now, the other hydrogen will come here with its electron. The black dot, the black one represents the electron hydrogen, and hydrogen stays here. Remember, the hydrogen will touch the electron of nitrogen, and the nitrogen will also touch the electron of hydrogen, so that they share everything in common. So here, these two electrons, one belongs to H, one belongs to N. And the last one comes here as well. The black dot is your H, and the hydrogen shares the electron, of nitrogen, just as nitrogen shares the one of hydrogen. Now, at the end, you notice that at this spot, two electrons are being shared. One belongs to nitrogen, one belongs to hydrogen. At this spot, two electrons are being shared. At this spot, two electrons are being shared. So, in all, remember, these ones here, they are not part of the sharing. This place is already complete. 
So the electrons here, two of them belong to nitrogen alone. So the total number of electrons shared is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six electrons. And that is the answer. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.